Hi guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how to gild and paint this Primaris Captain with gold leaf in just 30 minutes. I've left the gun arm off to make it easier to gild. I'm starting with a leather brown army painter primer. It doesn't matter too much which colour goes on first, as long as it's a dark base. Then I'm using Vallejo Gory Red Game Colour and covering the entire model. Now the model is prepped for gilding. I'll be coating everything, apart from the cape, in polyvinacrylic size. Size is an adhesive used for gold leaf. It remains tacky when it's dry, so there's no need to rush with the gold leaf. We want to give everything a thin and even coat, so I'm laying on with a regular brush and stippling off the excess with a short bristle brush. This one is a cheap makeup brush, but you can also trim your old pointy tip brushes down with scissors to use for stippling. You want to make sure you get the size into all the crevices, or the gold won't stick. I've got some imitation gold leaf, made from aluminium, which can be handled with your fingers. Gold leaf supplies and rights of limb are good suppliers in the UK. I'll put links in the description below. You want a soft brush for handling the gold. Again, I'm using a makeup brush. This one's for blusher. Before sticking your gold, just check the size is fully dry by tapping your knuckle onto the surface. It should be clear and feel the same tackiness as a piece of masking tape. I'm just tearing pieces of gold and stippling it into the model with my soft brush. You can keep going over and over the model until all of your base colour is covered. I'm not too worried about covering every single patch on this model, because I'm aiming for a weathered finish. The next step is to dust off all the remaining loose bits with a soft brush. This process is called skewing. So now we've got a super shiny, kind of plasticky looking gold. You might want this super shiny look, but I'm going to knock it back a bit with some wire wool. I'm just lightly scuffing the edges to reveal the gory red base colour, to give the marine a battle-worn aged look. I'm going to be sealing this down with a Vallejo smoky ink wash. If you don't want to change the colour or the sheen, you can just use clear gloss varnish. I added a few little details with the Vallejo dead white and bloody red, just to make a few of the details stand out. And here he is. All we need now is to stick him to a base. One gold leaf Primaris Captain completed in 30 minutes. You could always take the model further by adding highlights and more painted details, but hopefully this tutorial will give you an idea of what you can achieve with gold leaf on a miniature. If you want to know how I did the basing, check out my previous video on how to make your own texture paint. All I did was sprinkle on some flock and stick some tufts over the top while it was still wet. Remember to give me a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more miniature painting tips. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see me gild next. Until next time, Bye.